Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Lanting, America's allergist. I have a very important concept that I want to reinforce, and that is the one airway theory. And that means that this is one big tube. It's the respiratory system, and there's upper and lower, or the nose and the airways that lead to the lungs. But it's one unit. So when you take a proper breath, it goes in here, down here. So since it's the same tube with the same tissue, they talk to each other. And so if you have stuffiness and congestion up here, that can happen down here in your airways or lungs also. What's that called? Asthma. So when it first starts, some people call it reactive airway disease, but once it's a chronic thing, a daily thing, you got to call it what it is. Part of asthma therapy then is taking care of those. Whatever asthma therapy you're on will never be 100% effective unless the upper airway nose is happy. And so that's why allergic rhinitis care is part of asthma care. The other thing is, that if you take care of your nose and the allergic rhinitis, there are great studies that show it can prevent asthma from coming up if you were supposed to have it. The studies in children are really strong. They show that kids who are supposed to get asthma, 50% of the time, never got it because they took care of their nose, took care of the airway inflammation here, and it didn't present or come down here. That's fantastic. We think the same thing that would probably happen in adults too, but the studies aren't as strong yet. But it makes sense. If it's happy here, it's doing well here. Or remember, happy, happy, joy, joy. For those that still remember that uh, cartoon. But again, one airway, one system. Keep the upper airway of the nose happy, treat the allergic rhinitis, and asthma will either be better or may not even show itself. I'm Dr. Bill Lanting, America's Allergist. Take care.